Other than chlorinated water, vaccines have been the most effective life-saving tool. Diseases such as polio and smallpox have now been completely eradicated thanks to the use of vaccines. Now I'm sure we've all experienced some form of diarrhea in our lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> However, in developing countries, diarrhea is a serious life-threatening illness, especially to young children. In these developing worlds, diarrhea kills more children annually than measles, malaria, and AIDS combined. There are several bacterial pathogens responsible for causing diarrhea, but Campylobacter is the most common. Campylobacter is a bacteria that is found in contaminated food and water, most commonly in chicken. My research focuses on making a vaccine against Campylobacter. To make my vaccine, I do not use the whole organism, but rather a specific unit, the sugars present on the outer surface. Each Campylobacter cell expresses species specific cell surface polysaccharides as an outer coating. These polysaccharides are chains of sugars linked together that can interact with the immune system. And since they do this, we can make a vaccine using these sugars. So I extract the sugars and do a variety of analytical tests to determine their structure. One instrument that I frequently use is called NMR. It is like MRI, but for small molecules. The data that I get from NMR is very complex, but I do learn a lot of structural information from it. Full characterization of a polysaccharide usually takes one to two years. I have found that Campylobacter creates complex and unusual sugars that are not found in other types of bacteria. Once I know the structure of my polysaccharide, I can generate my vaccine. And once I've done this, I send the vaccine to our collaborators who do a series of tests to determine if the vaccine stimulates an immune response in animal models. Here we can actually see antibodies recognizing the bacteria, which means that the vaccine was successful. With our collaborators, we have one vaccine in human trials, and I am working on the second prototype that I hope will improve health on a global scale. Thank you.